we talked about the process that you went through um, from ending your your outpatient stay at Meritor until you actually went back to work in September of 2006. Yeah. Tell us about going back to work and what that was like and how you managed to make it through it. Well, I was approached by a, a good friend of mine who was an engineering manager at GE Healthcare. And he first came up to me, me I think I approached him actually first, because I knew he was, and I'd ask him, do you have anything that you think that I might be able to do? Because we went to the same church and still do. And um, I said, "Would is there something and that you might have available? And he eventually, he's, he came over to my house one day and he said, you know, I have something that I think you might be able to do here. And it, it's actually, it was a regular engineering position um, that he had open and f as a contractor. And the only problem at that point was it was a full-time position. And so I said, I don't believe I can work full-time because I knew I couldn't because of my rest necessity. And um, then he came back another time a couple months later and he had another position that was part-time but it had, it required the use of a program that I hadn't used, a CAD program. Um, and so then he came back again, maybe a few weeks later, and he said he had another position. It was actually in the same, all three were in the same thing, um, program underneath him. And, um, and it was, I could work whatever hours I would like to work. and it, no necessity to work so many a week, no necessity not to. Um, and so the only thing is I had to go through a contract agency because it was a contract, so I wouldn't get paid by GE. And so that is what I ended up doing, and I went through a contract agency um, and signed a job offer letter from them that if um, I was hired as an engineer, to do this project, and if I worked over 30 hours a week, which was what my uh, supervisor, my boss friend, told me, if you get over 30 hours a week, um, you know maybe they, that you can work towards 40, push yourself as hard as you can. So, the contract agency gave me a contract that said if you work 30 hours a week, well, you'll be considered full time, and you'll be entitled to all these benefits, and so. I pushed the heck out of myself, and literally that was all I could do was work and come home, do minimal rehab, which I should have done way more, um, and also then eat and sleep. Talk to me a little bit about you, what type of an engineer were you before you got hurt? Mechanical engineer. And put that in terms that everybody will understand what that means. I would design products and machines. I had designed, um, for instance, this isn't what I designed, but what it was, I designed a, uh, a computer um, back when I first started, um, all the mechanicals of the uh, computer, but it was a different kind of computer and it needed to open automatically and close automatically and different types of things like this. I designed some x-ray inspection machine parts and uh, I designed assembly machines, processes. So if you wanted to put something together, uh, you could automatically do it, um, like with a robot. The, um, when you went back to this job, uh, what were you doing there? Well, there I started out just trying to remember many things. And even using the phone was difficult because that's what I had to do a lot of. I had to talk to other businesses um, and learn how, what they were doing on a particular product and then determine what well, did that meet a specific standard. And it wasn't a super difficult process for me to do, but the memory part was, was difficult. And even remembering how do you use their phone versus at home you pick it up and dial. 
which was be hard to begin with too. But but then this, then you had to do that, and you had to learn, remember to keep track of this on paper so you wouldn't, because the brain of mine would not remember so much. Um, so I had to learn. I had to. I shouldn't say even learn, but I did have to learn. But I had to enact these things that I was taught by rehab of memory methods and so mostly writing down and, and typing in the computer so I and, and in processes that I would remember how to look at them too like you know time write your messages each by time by date so then when you know but then you're like well what what day did I talk to this person last I don't remember what was the name of the company so a computer is very helpful because you can type in the name and it'll it'll do all that scanning for you.